first Plantera in Terraria is an interesting milestone for the melee class, as it gives the player access to a range of more powerful weapons than ever before. Most notably, the Terra Blade, which once obtained, makes pretty much any other sword completely redundant, at least until the pillars. And so today, we're going to be looking at a rather underrated sword that finds itself in between Plantera and the stage you'd usually obtain the Terra Blade. Or of course I'm talking about, the Seedler. The question is, is this sword worth getting to fill the gap between the next power spike, or is it simply just another pre-golem weapon that finds itself in an awkward place in progression? Before we jump into it, if you enjoy this kind of content, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe as it really helps out. Alrighty then, let's take a look at how you can get your hands on this thing. As many of you know, the Seedler actually dropped from Plantera herself, meaning you'll want to head to your jungle by Unpost Mech and be on the lookout for a Plantera Bulb. Finding these is pretty random to say the least, and might take some time, but if you want to increase your chances, I just leave your game AFK for a few hours to ensure a few have a chance to spawn. Anyway, once you've found a bulb, unless you're feeling incredibly confident, I'd recommend making a sizable arena for the fight by just digging out a large open space and constructing a few long platforms for your mobility. Once you're ready, crack that bulb open and lead Plantera back to your arena. When it comes to the fight itself, my personal favourite weapon to use is the Death Sickle, as it delivers great damage, is easy to aim and keeps you and the boss far apart. However, if you're playing ranged, I'd recommend the Uzi or Onyx Blaster with Glorified Bullets. If you're a mage, I'd go for a combination of the Golden Shower and Frost Staff. And finally, if you're Summoner, the Sanguine Staff with a Durindal Whip is my favourite combo. However you manage to take her down, that's only half the battle, as we're given only a 14.29% chance of getting the Seedler from her treasure bag. In my case, it took me 5 fights, but of course this may vary drastically. Ok, let us take a look at what it can do. The Seedler finds itself in the category of melee weapons that seems to function better as a ranged weapon, firing out Seedler Nuts, which are grenade-like projectiles that explode after a short period of time or when contacting enemies. Once the Nuts explode, several smaller forms will be projected outwards, sort of like a frag grenade. The first thing that surprised me about this weapon is just how high the DPS can get in both the single target and multi-target test, but like always, we have to address the elephant in the room, which is how does it compare to the Terra Blade? And well, somehow, the Seedler actually beats the projectile only single target DPS of the Terra Blade and matches it when using the blade. This is a great start for the Seedler, but unfortunately, the Terra Blade's piercing is unrivaled and absolutely destroys it in the multi-target test. With all this in mind, let's see how it does against the real thing. As you'd expect, the Seedler fares quite decently against a group of mummies. However, its lack of any substantial piercing is noticeable here. So what about tankier biome mimics? Well, I'd say this was a middle of the road outcome. It killed them quite quickly as individuals, but wasn't able to deal any widespread damage to all three at once. So then, what's it like against bosses? Well, against Golem, it did remarkably well, and took it out at similar speeds to that of the Terra Blade. And so, this kind of makes me think that, boss-wise, you're not really any better off with the Terra Blade at this stage of the game, which moves us on to the next test. Can the Seedler take you to the pillars? And well, I'm not gonna lie, this definitely wouldn't be my first choice for the cultist. I found I found this boss's small fast moving hitbox quite difficult to hit with the small nut projectiles, and the amount of fragments meant the illusion phase was pretty much a guaranteed failure every time. However, a scenario where the Seedler's strengths shine through is with any event. No really, its crowd controlling abilities are just fantastic, despite losing to the Terra Blade on pure DPS. If I were you, if you have a few extra bulbs lying about, I'd absolutely go for this weapon, even if it's just to bridge the gap between Plantera and you swapping it out for the Terra Blade. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Seedler down below. Could it be underrated, or is it just another subpar weapon to add to the list? This has been Socrates, and I'll see you in the next one.